I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about a George Washington professor who admitted that they were not black. Professor admitted in a Thursday ball post that she has for years been falsely claiming to be black when she in fact was white and Jewish. Jessica Cruz, who teaches black history at George Washington University, made the startling ball post of medium titled The Truth and the Anti-Black Violence of My Lives. This is the young lady right here. To an escalating degree over my adult life, I have eschewed my life experience as a white Jewish child in suburban Kansas City under various assumed identities within the blackness that I had no right to claim. First, North African blackness, then U.S. rooted blackness, then Caribbean rooted Bronx blackness, crew wrote. She added that claiming identities of her own is a very estimate of violence, of thievery, and appropriation of the myriad ways in which non-black people continue to use and abuse black identities and culture. Look at this. We got another Rachel Dozell and Sean King running around in our community. This is her selling books, making money off of pretending to be black. How many people, we well, see hundreds of people out here doing this. Cruz says she has been dealing with mental health issues since childhood when she first assumed a false identity. This woman was able to assume a false identity and become a college professor at one of the most prestigious schools in America, George Washington University. I think it's a school that you have to pay the most tuition to. The mental health professionals from which I have been so belatedly seeking help assure me that this is common response to some of the severe trauma that marked my early childhood and teen years, she said. But Cruel qualified that her mental health issues cannot justify or condone her actions. But Cruel qualified that her mental health issues cannot condone her actions. I'm not a culture broker. I am a culture leech, she said. I have thought about ending these lives many a times over many a years, but my cowardice was always more powerful than my ethics. I know right from wrong. I know history. I know power. I am a coward. Krug authorized several books on black history according to G. George Washington University website. Crew areas of expertise include Africa, Latin America, African American history, and imperialism and colonialism. Her omission has sparked up a fit of fire and anger among her student friends and colleagues. Area Sonoka, 21 years old senior, taking one of Crew's classes this semester, told the Washington Post she was definitely very shocked. I was just completely perplexed since she. I just had a class with her on Monday, so he said. Hilly Zad, the editor-in-chief of the online pu publication, Race Vader, said Crew was someone he called a friend up until this morning when she gave me a call admitting to everything written in her blog post. She did it. She do it out of benevolence. She didn't because she had found out, he wrote on Twitter. It was not clear what actions George Washington University would be taking against Cruz. The school did not respond immediately to Fox News requests. This is all over the internet. This woman right here has been pretending to be black her whole life. We let anyone into our community. We the only people that don't have protection gaps. You just can't be Jewish and walk into the Jewish community. You have to prove that you're Jewish. If you're Native American, you have to prove that you're a member of that tribe. If you any other race, 
You have to prove yourself. You can just walk into a room, be light-skinned, or pretend to be light-skinned and in black, and we'll accept you. We will accept any old straight cat into our race instead of doing some background checks. This woman extended to being a college professor at a prestigious university off the black backs of black people. That means she took the job of several black people at universities. To go to George Washington University, you had to be at several universities to get to that prestigious university right there. And she used her blackness, so-called blackness, to get the job. There is no law against this, but we just cannot accept people because they're spewing what we think is okay. We don't know. She, for all these years, she could have been working for the government, spying on us. But now, since the awakening, since George Floyd has been killed, all of a sudden she wants to come out and say that she has been assuming someone else's identity in her mind. That's what she's going to use. I have mental health problems. The school hasn't even fired this woman yet. That's illegal for putting something on your adic um, <clears throat> application that's not true. There was nobody in her family that called her out who warned the school system. So her family that happens to be Jewish just let her run around the country pretending she was black. They didn't notify any of these universities that this woman was pretending to be someone else. How are we gonna have a revolution and we don't have our own FBI. So Sean King, he can run around here, sell books, take advantage of Chadwick Boseman dying, trying to sell books. We got Rachel Dozell, head of the NAACP out there. She running around talking and expressing herself as though she was black. You got this professor running around out here, selling books, teaching African-American history, and pretending she's black and moving within the black circles in the black community for years. As a college professor, you move throughout the highest ranks of black society. This is shameful right here. And no one called her out within the Jewish community. I believe that this woman was a spy, reporting everything possibly to the Mossad, possibly to the FBI, about what's going on in the black community. And if you don't think it's other people out there doing the same thing, something is wrong with you. This woman has been a plant within our community, finding out what the hell we doing. And we constantly let people like this, we constantly let white liberals run around in our community and don't know whose side they're really on. They could be destroying our community from within. We have to stop making these type of mistakes if we expect to survive in America. We can't have people pretending to be black at the highest ranks of society, trying to mold our children's mind, trying to teach them knowledge of self. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button and share this video. If you would like to make a donation, go to PayPal, go to Cash App, 
and also use Streamlabs.